the most iconic rum region of them all, the Caribbean, world famous brands, tropically aged, deeply rooted in island culture from rum punch at carnival celebrations, the thousands of rum shops or shacks, the legacy of slavery. Let's dive in. Hello, Hendo here and welcome to the Caribbean where famous rum brands come from. If you're new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Showing just how widespread rum making is in the Caribbean. Here we'll cover geology, history, rum styles, regulations, brands and producers, Greater Antilles, Lesser Antilles, there are about 70 distilleries and 20 rum making nations. First up, some geology. The Caribbean Basin sits between the North and South American plates, defined by the Greater Antilles and Lesser Antilles volcanic arc in the East Caribbean Sea, which has an ideal climate to cultivate sugarcane. The Lesser Antilles Island Arc stretches from Grenada in the south to Anguilla in the north and includes 21 known volcanoes across 11 islands where many produce rum. The Greater Antilles has the larger islands of the Caribbean Sea like Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica and Cayman Islands. Now to history. Sugarcane was introduced to the Caribbean by Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, 14 in modern day Dominican Republic in Haiti. His wife's father was a wealthy Madeira sugar grower. His son colonised Jamaica in 1509 and planted sugar cane there. Sugar cane arrived in Cuba about 1511. Its fertile soil and sticky climate perfect for growing sugar cane. The English introduced the sugar plantation system on Barbados and in the mid 1600s was making rum by fermenting molasses. Rum was first distilled by European colonists and African slaves. The Dutch had traded materials north from the Portuguese colonial Brazil, early English colonies, Barbados, Antigua, Jamaica by 1565. Royal Navy daily rations switched from French brandy to rum, creating strong demand for rum back home. The island of Martinique has written rum records from 1667. It was the era of pirates and colonial molasses trade with New England colonies. 1703 Mount Gay in Barbados, oldest existing rum distillery. Then the British colonies of Grenada, Tobago, Dominica, St. Lucia, Guyana and Trinidad. Rum making followed sugar production and Britain controlled colonial trade, laws and molasses act, sugar act, banned import of all foreign rum to stop American colonies who had about 150 rum distillers using Spanish or French Caribbean molasses at the time. By the mid 1700s, Jamaica's rum distilleries took off. Spanish, French, Dutch, Danish and British colonists fought over islands, ran sugar plantations, a Dutch broker set up and still supplies the bulk of Caribbean rum to this day. Rum was part of the lucrative triangular trade, sugar, cotton, tobacco from Caribbean, East US to the UK, then UK traded to Africa and then slaves were brought to the Caribbean. Spanish colonies were only allowed to distill from 1796. In 1800s, the brutal Chateau slavery system was abolished. The Slavery Museum on Martinique is worth visiting. I learned quite a lot when I was there recently. The Caribbean shifted rum trade from New England to UK after the American Civil War. Sugar beet in Europe wiped out Caribbean sugar demand and rum took off. Column distilling was introduced and Cuban light rum was born. Phylloxera bug that had killed the brandy industry actually saved French Caribbean rum. But then in 1902, Montpellier volcano eruption destroyed Martinique and its 50 distilleries. As a result, nearby Guadeloupe Islands rum production grew. In 1900s, Caribbean rum modernized to industrial scale and brands were swept up by corporates. 1920s US prohibition, Americans flocked to Cuba, creating a rum boom era fueled on daiquiri, mojitos, El Presidente or Cuba Libras. In 1930s, prohibition ended 
tiki cocktails spread across the US, Mai Tai, Pina Colada and Rum Punch. By 1960, the Cuban crisis, Bacardi moved to Puerto Rico. Cuban rum consolidation as bigger companies bought smaller companies. Caribbean community banded together. Caracom regulations got tighter and brands started to premiumize rum in the 70s. 1980s Caribbean rum cocktails elevated rum to the world's number one spirit. 1990s Bacardi, Captain Morgan, Navy rum and Malibu dominated the UK market. 1997 Joy Spence of Appleton Estate, Jamaica became the first female master blender. 2010 you've got Craft Rum, Super Premium, Rum Brokers supplying new era of independent bottlings from the Caribbean. Richard Seal of Foursquare and Luca Gargano of Veli elevated bottlings to cult status. The latter introducing Haitian Claren and Jamaican Hamden High Ester rums. Now to rum styles. Categorising Caribbean rum into English, French and Spanish style is becoming a little bit outdated because of diversification across the islands. But the past is still present in rum label marketing using French, Spanish and English terms. So it's here to stay a while. The context is European colonial islands worked in isolation competition. Nowadays it's different. Starting with the French West Indies, rum making goes back to the 1640s in Martinique, Guadeloupe and Marie Galant. Uh, Agricole rum, uh, spelt with an H, today uses fresh sugar cane juice spirit, but in colonial times used molasses. Islanders switched to fresh sugar cane juice spirit late 1800s, grew in the 1900s. French families brought their stills and skills to the Caribbean. Martinique has about 13 brands or producers. AOC Appellation de Origin Control uh, dictates rules. Sugar cane harvest February to June, pressed, fermented, maximum five days, and distilled in Creole column still, aged in oak barrels. AOC Blanc, AOC Elevé sous bois, means at least 12 months oak aged, and AOC Vu, which is at least three years, labelled like French brandy, defined centuries earlier to make trade easier with the English. So you have VO being very old, VSOP, very special old pale, aged at least four years, XO, extra old, at least six years. French style rum are earthy, fruitier in Western Martinique, vegetal on the Atlantic side, grassy, floral and herbal. 80% is exported to France. Their palate is used to it and UK and US palates, not so natural, but tastes are changing. Guadeloupe has its own GI geographic indication, includes Marie Galante is less sophisticated than Martinique but a little bit more charming in agriculture. English style rum is based on former British colonies from unaged overproof rum, gold rum to navy rum, black, dark or spice rum, often young, coloured and sweetened, bold, rich and woody notes, British West Indies Inter-trade influence is still seen today with the blends of Barbados, Guyana, Jamaica or Trinidad rum. On rum labels, age number is the youngest rum inside usually. Navy strength 57%, XO, XO old, tends to be over six years old and an age range. Mount Gay XO is eight to 15 years. Plantation XO is 12 to 20 years old. Jamaica is funkier with high ester, pungent pot still rum, long fermentation uses dunder, the maximum ester level 1600 was introduced in 1934. But many of these islands now distill fresh sugarcane juice as well. Now to Spanish style aka Latin rum, Spanish speaking countries called Ron in Spanish, former Spanish colonies like Cuba, Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. Many 1800 Spanish settlers brought their stills and skills from Spain, Bacardi and Methuselah to Cuba, Brugal and Barcelo to Dominican Republic and Fernandez to Puerto Rico. Distillers brought brandy and sherry knowledge like the Solera system to rum today. Cuban masters Maestro Roneros chemical engineering background distillers move between Caribbean countries like Don Pancho in Panama. You've got Venezuela and Louisiana today 
defining rums where they go. Spanish Crown defined the style with light crisp rum. On labels, age numbers refer to an average or up to an age bottle. And Añejo means four years. Añejo Special up to five. Grand Añejo is a blend up to six years. Spanish made Aguente de Caña is pre-Caribbean made in Spain. Spanish rums lighter Blanco for mojitos and daiquiris. Añejo Hados. Uh, aged round, rich, full-bodied rums. Many Caribbean rums today don't fit these colonial styles. As a shift towards island or country with GIs and diversification superseding old classification, which leads us to regulations. The Caribbean intersects the US and EU for some laws. Caricom rum standard since 1991 applies to 14 member states. West Indies Rum Producers Association protects provenance. 2021 CARI Forum, the Rum Producers and the French Rum CIRT Rum joined forces to protect Caribbean exports. Trinidad and Tobago has their Bureau de Standards and Jamaica Rum Manufacturers Association, Dominican Republic Ministry of Agriculture, GI Ron Dominicano. Cuba has PDO designation of origin. Puerto Rico has Rums of Puerto Rico program and adheres to USTTB labeling laws. The most rigorous regulations are AOC Martinique in EU law, all aspects of growing sugarcane, stills, aging and labelling. Guadeloupe has GI, Jamaica has GI, on Barbados, Mount Gay, Four Square and St Nicholas Abbey are pushing for a GI. But once rum is taken from the Caribbean itself, regulations fall away resold and branded without transparency, sweetened, spiced or botanicals can be added. Now to brands and producers, starting from the north to the south, Greater Antilles, the Bahamas, home to the Bahama Mama rum cocktail, Luna rum, John Watling's rum, Ole Nassau rum and now Bahamas distilling company in Freeport using a French copper column still. To Kirks and Caicos, has Bambara rum made on Barbuda. Then Cuba, highly fertile red limestone soil, ideal for sugarcane, had 1,000 distilleries, now about 13, famous for the revolution and a Bacardi versus Havana Club trademark dispute. Aguente roots in Ron Cubano, PDO status age, minimum two years in oak barrels. And Cuba rum making was recently declared cultural heritage by UNESCO. What makes Cuban rums unique is generally short fermentation, pioneer of light rum, multi-column still, charcoal filtered, some call the Cuban process, and blended by Maestro Roneros, the rum masters. The state-owned corporation Cuba Ron produces Havana Club made at Santa Cruz del Norte, where Ron Aricha is made, and San Jose distilleries. Santiago de Cuba, second largest city and oldest distillery, where Ron Caney, Ron Cuby, uh, Sao Can, Ron Varadero, Treasure Island Rum, Ron Edmundo Dantes, also Eminente Rum from LVMH, Pacto Navio Rum, uh, finished in Saturn Cas, is made near Havana, Ron Perla de la Norte, is made in Cardenas and Doble 9 brand, just been launched. Techno Azuka, another state-run enterprise, makes a large amount of Cuban rum. Ron Santero, Ron Mulata, Ron Viga, Ron Barcelona, relaunched in 2016. Ron Legionario is now produced between six distilleries, uh, Con de Cuba and Sancta Spiritus Distillery in central Cuba has long supplied rum for independent bottlers. Now to Haiti. Uh, they make sugar cane juice French style rum, rum barbancor since 1862 in cognac style stills, rum vu lave, rum 1716, barrique, moscoso distillers and there's about 500 claren producers, claren meaning clear, Lucar Gargano introduced the world to this about a decade ago, firm favourite among rum fans. Now to Dominican Republic. Ron Dominican are Cuban inspired in heritage and techniques with about 15 distillers or brands. Spanish origins, Ron Barcelo makes rum from cane juice and just announced Dominican 
Republic's first organic rum. They launched Ron Barcelo Imperial in 1980. Ron Bermudez, the oldest Dominican distillery from 1852, also makes Kirk and Sweeney rum. Edrington owns Brugal rum, which focuses on their 1888 expression, five to 14 years in bourbon and Oloroso sherry casks. There's Ron Methuselah Solero rums, which started life in Cuba. Ron Savoni from Santa Domingo, 1920. Another Cuban origin, Oliver and Oliver, has Ron Punta Cana Club, several expressions and brands. Marco Reeks, named after indigenous people, and Ron Esclavo, slaves. Rum changed to Patra Dom last year, meaning heritage. Now to Jamaica. Rum is part of the island's identity and geologically enriched with the limestone belts through the centre of the island. Perfect for distillers. Kentucky and Scotland's Speyside region also benefit from limestone. In 1893, Jamaica had over 148 distilleries, now only six. Since 1800s, Jamaican rum has been a sign of quality internationally. Now famous for high ester, long fermentation, pot distilled molasses rum. J. Ray and Nephews overproof made it New Yarmouth distillery and Appleton Estates. Kingston 62, Signature 8, 12 and 21 year old are both Campari owned. The Appleton Estate rum doesn't add dunder, the leftover residue from previous molasses distillation. Their fermentation is about three days, whereas high hogos can be about three weeks. National Rums of Jamaica is a partnership with Maison Ferrand, who has plantation rum, Jamaica and Cane Rock Spice, with Guyana's DDL and the Jamaican government. Clarendon Distillery creates a low and high ester rum on pot and column stills, home to Money Musk, makes Myers rum, and part owned by Diageo for Captain Morgan Supply. Plus the high ester long pond revived since a fire in 2018 and aging warehouse at Innswood and an old distillery site. The Clark family owned Worthy Park Estate reopened 2005. Modern take and traditional Jamaican pot still rums, single estate bottlings, wine cast finishes and makes rum bar overproof and Hamilton's Jamaican pot still black. Then there's Hussey family owned Hamden Estate makes rum fire unaged overproof rum and Hamden first official bottlings were 2018 making 8 to 15 day open fermentation double retort pot still high ester aged rum collaborated with Luca Gargano limited releases generating cult status molasses on the island is cooperated by the Caribbean Molasses Company Limited to protect supply now to Cayman Islands has Cayman Spirits from 2013, Seven Fathoms rum matured under the ocean. Tortuga Rum Co, it sells rum cake to cruise ships. And my personal rum journey really took off in the Cayman Islands when I was stuck in Hurricane Ivan back in 2004. Now to Puerto Rico makes over 70% of the rums sold in the US. Rums of Puerto Rico Group represents five brands, Bacardi, Don Q, Paulo Veo, Ron Del Barito, and Ron Yavi means key in English. Casa Bacardi Cathedral of Rum, the world's largest pioneered Carta Blanca or superior using molasses controlled fermentation, aged then charcoal filtered to create clear light crisp rum, celebrating its 161st anniversary last month. Its global HQ is in Bermuda. There's Don Q at Sorella's Distillery, which also makes black beard spice rum. Ron Del Barito is two to five stars in Oloroso Cas, is the island's oldest distillery. Then there's Club Carib Distillers, Trigo Reserva, Grand Añejo, Source from Bacardi, La Distillery Craft Spirits and Crab Island Rum with San Juan Artisan Distillers, the only Puerto Rican distillery to make Ron Agricola sugarcane juice rum. Ron Pepon. US Virgin Islands Captain Morgan acquired by Diageo in 2001, San Crow since 2012, Cruising Rum, Sailor Jerry Rum, Bones Rum, A.H. Risa, a Danish pharmacist, Danish Royal Navy Rum. 
then British Virgin Islands has Purses Limited, which sources from Guyana blended and bottled on Tortola, founded in 1979 from a Royal Navy recipe. Also on Tortola is historic Colwood Rum Distillery, makes Arundel Cane Rum, fresh sugar cane juice from their plantation, originally founded in the 1600s. This leads us to the Lesser Antilles on Angela. Angela Rum Company, owned by Patron Spirits, part of Bacardi International now, made pirate rum from 1997, but now sources from DDL in Guyana. On St. Martin, Topper's Rum Distillery produces flavoured rums, and Guava Berry Rum is the national drink there. On St. Kitts and Nevis, Old Road Rum Company, Wingfield Estate, going back to 1681, is going to bring distilling back, but likely sourced from Barbados just now. Belmont Estate Rum is made at DDL in Guyana, as is Brindley Gold. Hibiscus Spirits makes spice rum. Ting and Sting is the rum drink on the island, and on Nevis, Clifton Estate Rum comes from Antigua. Antigua has English Harbour aged molasses rum in copper piped continues still since 1932. Now to French department Guadeloupe has Damoiseau, Montebello, Severan, Longuito, the oldest from 1895, Reminoc, Boulogne and on the island of Marie Galant, the old brothers Pierre Labat and BL. On the west coast of Dominica is Macuchere rum distillery on centuries old Schillingford Estate, an island where bush bar homemade infused rums are popular. Martinique is governed by AOC strict growing areas, distillery GM in the northeast, also supplies Habitation Clement with unaged rum, both spirit bam, owned by Martinique based GBH. Distillery St. James, owned by La Martiquinez, also makes J. Bali rum hardy. Le Galion is the only molasses rum Grand Arom. Near to it is Bay de Trésor, or Bay of Treasures, terroir driven rum with wet and dry cane spirit. Depas Distillery near St. Pierre on the slopes of Montpellier and was destroyed in the 1902 eruption, rebuilt 1917. Incredible story and also supplies rum Dillon. Nearby Nissan Distillery is small, slow ferments. Just outside Fort de France is artisanal farmyard distiller La Favorite. Then Habitation St. Etienne with a wide range of barrel age styles, sources spirit from Distillery Simon, which is just across the road from Artisanal Distillery Rum A1710 and is not an AOC rum. Maison La Monet Distillery produces Decane Rum, Trois Reveille, and owned by Campari Group since 2019. I visited Martinique in January. Every distillery was upgrading. The St James Rum Museum is well worth visiting to see up close the evolution of distilling history and the equipment. Tea punch is the rum drink on the island. Now on to St Lucia. St Lucia Distillers, French owned by Martinique based GBH Spiribam, makes pot and column distilled molasses rum, bounty rum, chairman's reserve is pot and column distilled, whereas Admiral Rodney is just column distilled. And St Lucia switched from sugar to banana economy. On Barbados, a geological outlier island, coral rather than volcanic, easternmost island of the West Indies, birthplace of rum, distills mainly molasses, but produces also sugarcane juice spirit, mix of pot and column still, sometimes blends before and after aging, El Remy Cointro owned, Mount Gay Rum Distillery, Black Barrel XO, Port Cask, Madeira Cask, and re-entered sugar production, recently now constructing a new large sugar mill to specially make high quality molasses. Maison Ferrand owned West Indies Rum Distillery Limited has archives going back to 1893 when German engineer George Stade first built column distillation, makes plantation rum, Stade's rum just been relaunched and producing partner rums for Bamboo, Coxpur and Malibu rum. The company owns Jamaican distilleries and sends rum to age in France. The Seal family 
owned four square rum distillery revived in 1996 makes Old Bridge End, Real McCoy, Dourley's, RL Seal and highly sought after Exceptional Cast Series or ECS releases as fans know them. St Nicholas Abbey was revived in 2006 by the Warren family makes sugar cane juice rum. Barbados supplies cask rum for single cask indie bottlers and inter island blends. Four Square, Mount Gay and St Nicholas Abbey created a producer group called Genuine Barbados Rum for geographical indication proposal. A Scottish distiller is planning a new Barbados distillery announcement will be soon. When I was in Bridgetown last year I had a wee look at the old rum bond site. Now in St Vincent and the Grenadines, St Vincent Distillers Limited and Grenada has Clark's Court, Westerhall, River Antoine from 1785. As a step back in time, Sugarcane has Rivers Royal Overproof. Renegade Rum has an ultra-modern distillery built from scratch 2019. Reintroducing Sugarcane Juice Terroir driven multi-farm, about 12 different farms. Expect swathes of bottlings in the future. And finally on to Trinidad and Tobago, which once had over 50 distilleries. TDL Trinidad Distillers since 1949 became the sole distiller in 1973, makes sugarcane molasses Angostura rum using multi-column stills its own yeast. Has Fernandez rum, remember VAT19. There's Florida-based Island Rum Company launched in 2017 and Kraken Rum by Proximo Spirits. And the iconic Caroni Distillery from 1918 closed in 2003. Still some bottles out there. There's many indie bottlings of Caribbean rum, SBS, 1423, La Maison Valley, Habitation Valley, Berry Brothers, Cadenhead, Banks, Maison, Holmes Key, Navy Rum, Boutique Rum, Bristol Rum are just a few. African Caribbean Equano Rum source brands like Lambs, Black Tot, Duppy Share, St Ogan and hundreds more depending on where you live. 10 to 1 Pan Caribbean Craft Forward Blended Rum from four different countries. Post pandemic you'll see big upgrades, EU funding in several distilleries from Jamaica, Barbados, Dominican Republic and Martinique. And the Caribbean overproof rum has long been popular with locals while aged in premium rum is usually exported. Acquisitions and consolidation will continue but many Caribbean communities need more support from their greatest exports. Producers are now holding on to aged cast stock as demand accelerates. The Caribbean's hot sticky 30 degrees climate, high evaporation angel shear speeds up cask interaction about threefold. There are many Caribbean rum festivals, but crop over Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago's carnival are top rum fuel destinations. The Caribbean region should be on your list for your next visit and add your favourite Caribbean rums in the comments. This wraps up the tour and please add any corrections. I know when this comes out there might be some changes, some new distilleries around. So I hope it was useful to you in some way and until next time, thanks for watching.